How do you characterize North Korea cyber attacks compared to, say, those attributed to Russia or China? So, for example, would you say that despite what we may think about the maturity of North Korea in economic matters, their levels of sophistication when it comes to cyber attack is quite mature. And I think we can point to, say, for example, the Bangladesh heist of 2016 as an example and how the attackers, you know, waited patiently for more than a year after the initial reconnaissance to launch the attack. And this demonstrates their sophisticated planning and organization. So it seems to be that they are fairly mature when it comes to cyber attack. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, their capabilities have evolved considerably over the past decade. Uh, of course, there are some differences among threat actors of uh, North Korea. But uh, overall, the penetration method and the techniques to evade security systems have become quite sophisticated. And they attack with considerable knowledge about the country's political situation. And also, we uh, see them perform reconnaissance work for a long time to gain that kind of knowledge. On top of that, their social engineering attacks are becoming more sophisticated. Um, they are good at exploiting vulnerabilities, and their attacks using psychological loopholes are also effective. I don't have much experience with uh, Russian attack groups, so I can't say much about them. But uh, I understand that Chinese groups have impressive hacking and malware development techniques. And I think uh, nowadays, the North Korean groups have reached the level of the skilled Chinese groups. You emphasize that we just need to be constantly uh, be aware that even if we do not see any signs of attacks today, it doesn't mean that they are not preparing for a, a bigger attack uh, in the near future. So thank you very much, Kay, for your time today. Okay, thank you for inviting me today. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.